Now that we're getting back together with family and friends again, I think it's time for a fondue night. I have no idea what I'm doing, so I'm out here in Durham at the Melting Pot to get some advice from the experts. So we've got the pros here. Matt Daly's here with us. He's going to teach us how it's done. Thank you so much for having us out. No, it's my pleasure. I'm, I'm glad you guys uh, made it out. Yes, I'm so excited for this. So let's talk fondue. Can anyone have a fondue night? Anyone can have fondue night. It's great for the friends, family, you know, date night's awesome. Uh, my wife and I met serving at the Melting Pot in Raleigh years ago. I love and we that. still make cheese fondue as a date night at home to this day. So. That's so fun. Okay, so what are the essentials that you need? Because you probably need a fondue pot, right? Sure, sure, yeah. So fondue pot definitely helps, like the ones we use here at the Melting Pot. Um, not totally necessary, though. You can even okay. use a nice Pyrex bowl, um, you know, like a sauce pot. Put it right on top, get some water in the bottom there, because you want to get the steam going. You melt sure. the cheese uh, right at home. Okay, and the steam is the secret, because right now, if you take a look at this, we've got, what is this beer in there? It is, yeah. Kind of yep. cooking up? Yep. And underneath it is some hot water, creating the steam that you see. So why beer? Uh, beer, beer and cheese. Killer pairing, you know, who doesn't like beer, who doesn't like cheese, so they always work well together. Okay, and yeah. so what are the other ingredients that we're going to throw into our fondue pot to create our cheese today? Sure, yeah, so I'm going to kind of get started here. Um, awesome. We're going to do our Wisconsin cheddar, which is probably our most popular cheese. Uh, we start off with some beer. Uh, we also do a little bit of garlic. Oh, I love garlic, yes. If you don't like garlic, you can always leave that off at home, but who doesn't like some garlic? Right? I, I don't know anybody. Exactly. We've got some mustard powder as well. Ooh. Kind of helps enhance the cheese's flavor. And then, uh, yeah, so the cheese uh, blend here we have is Wisconsin cheddar, and then we also have some Emmenthal or Swiss. Those two cheeses kind of play off each other really nicely. Kind of gives you a good balance. What you was the just... cheese? Emmerthal? Emmenthaler. Emmenthaler. Yeah, so it's what? a Swiss cheese. So oh, okay. I've never um, heard yeah, of that. Yeah, it's got a nice kind of like sharp buttery flavor to it. Um, it's delicious. It pairs really nicely with the, the sharpness of the cheddar, so it kind of mellows that out a little bit. I was going to say, so the trick is to kind of blend a couple of different kinds yeah. of cheeses yeah, so you sure. don't get an overwhelming cheese. It's, it's, like, it's like in anything in life. You want that balance, right? Perfect balance. Oh my gosh, it's starting to smell it amazing. It how long is it going to take to kind of get to that quick. perfect consistency? Moves quick. Okay. Moves quick. Okay. Once you're steaming, moves quick. We're going to also add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce here. Oh, I love Worcestershire yeah, sauce. That, that word that everyone has trouble Worcestershire. with. Worcestershire. Exactly. <laughs> and then we're going to kind of get the rest of the cheese in there. All right. And then we're going to do some black the... pepper in a second, and then perfect. we are good to go. And what's the ideal consistency? How do we know it's to the perfect fondue consistency? Yeah, so here at the restaurant, we, um, we always aim for warm, runny honey. Warm, runny Yeah, because you don't want it too thick honey. to where it does not cover the uh, item that you're dipping in there. Or you don't want to pull out all the cheese in one dip, you know what I mean? So. Gosh, this smells amazing, guys. I wish there was smell-o-vision. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my there gosh. you are. And who doesn't you're love it? Oh, pot of steam and cheese. All right, so now we've got our delicious cheese ready to rock. What are some of the most popular pairings? What are you guys sure, dipping? Sure, yeah, so we have our charcuterie board over here. Um, it's an optional add-on, you know, for, uh, but definitely at home, I recommend getting creative with the dipping mm -hmm. items. Uh, at the restaurant, we always serve these three types of bread. We have French bread, honey wheat, and pretzel bread. Okay. We also have some uh, Granny Smith apples, some cauliflower, carrots, and celery. So, wow. yeah. So you can dip all sorts of healthy things into your big vat exactly. of unhealthy exactly. cheese. Exactly. I love exactly. that. Exactly. All right, I'm ready to taste test this. Absolutely, what are we, what are we absolutely. Here? Let's get you a fondue fork. Okay, fondue fork. Go for that pretzel Safety bread. First. Pretzel bread is um, which one is that? Yeah, this one? that guy right there. That guy right yeah, there. Yeah, for sure. Right. So yeah, what you want to do is dip towards the middle of the pot, just because the sides get kind of hot. Do a little spin. Ooh. Cover that bad boy in cheese, and you're good to go. Look at that. Got your little plate here too. Yeah, look at it. Oh, cheesy goodness. All right, I'm. A, I'm you're making me hungry. Hurry up. I'm not gonna burn my mouth. Mmm. What do you think? Mmm. Mm. More of that. Mm -hmm. Good, good. I'm glad. Oh made, my gosh. Made, made a couple of those in my day. So, so good. Yes, <laughs> and I love it. It's so easy too. You just needed a couple of ingredients, and people really probably have most of this around their house. Yeah, for sure. And if you don't, you know, go to, go to your local cheese shop and ask them. Say, hey, what's what's the best of fondue with? Because um, oh, some cheeses smart. work better, and you know, fondue is a universal game. Thank you so much, yeah, Matt. You and I are you. now best fondue Absolutely. friends forever. Absolutely. Thank you for showing me this. I'm so excited to try it out at home. Guys, I hope you guys try it out at home or come on out to the melting pot and let them do all the work for you.